We're here, I wanna give you your weekly training, exactly how to do your practical. Um, how to do your practical weekly, I wanna show you super simple how to do that. Now, if you were at the webinar, you're gonna see some of this stuff already. There's a 35 minute webinar that's in the beginning. Um, you really should look at that. You should also look at the training that's in the brainstorming session for you to understand some of this stuff. This is after you've gone through the initial training. This is week number one, you're ready to go. I wanna show you how this thing works. This is actually taking some of the practical steps to becoming successful and applying them into a daily habit so that you can learn to do something over and over again. What's really interesting about these habits is that even if you've been doing it for 20, 25, 30 years, that even the reminder every single week actually helps you improve, helps you become better with every single day, every single day that you do this. So number one, stop this. We talked about, we talked about that already. You wanna write down the things that you wanna stop that you were doing last week to help you improve your life. The things, same thing with voice. Voice we talked about, all the voices of your past are keeping you from being effective, keeping you from being productive, keeping you from being dreaming, big dreams. So retell yourself a voice, reparent yourself. Tell yourself you can do it, you're amazing, you're wonderful, you're beautiful, you're successful, people love to, people wanna hear you talk, people wanna hear your book, people wanna read your story. That's the kind of stories you wanna tell yourself. Let your heart be revoiced with this. Every single week, just tell yourself the things that need to be successful as if you're parenting yourself. The next thing you want to do, up here on the top, you're going to see that the dates are missing. Sunday, there's no number next to the day. It's one of the very important things that you want to do is I left those numbers out there so that you will, at every single week, you'll write down the numbers. 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4. You would actually write down the days because I want you to pause for that moment and think this is the only day that I'm ever going to have in my life that's that day. I am never going to have February 2nd, 2016 ever again. What am I going to do with that day? It's a gift. It's one of the most powerful things we have. It's one of the greatest commodities that you own is time. So if you write down and think about that, this is a day that I'm never going to have again. What do I want to do with it? Who do I want to influence with it? What do I want to achieve with it? Make sure that these days don't just whip past you, that you use each one, that you spend each one wisely. So write that down. Next to that, you're going to write down your primary focus for that day. What do I want to accomplish that's primary, that I want to knock out, get done, be focused on every single day? So in this one, that week I wanted to focus on ads, 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 building a new webinar, setting up a new live event. And so you can see that when you focus on a primary thing, you'll have a lot of things you do in a day, but your primary thing you want to get done every single day, you want to have a primary. And that's going to come from your tasks and your goals, which we're going to talk about in the next session. In your weekly chart, you want to knock out or wipe out all the areas that are already pre-committed. So I do coaching from 2 o'clock in the afternoon until 4.30 in the afternoon. I mark that out. The time is already used up. So mark that out first. Those are your big chunks. Mark out those sessions. The day off, if you're going to take a day off, that I have from Friday night until Saturday night, I have a complete and total rest. I don't take any business, don't do any work, so I mark that off. That's no longer a viable time space. And you put down the things that are, that are goal-oriented that you want to focus on that you're never going to miss. You're going to run. You're going to do your exercise from 12.30 in, in the afternoon until 1.30 in the afternoon, and you mark that out. Now you've got your big chunks taken care of. The rest of your week is where you're going to start putting your plans, where you're going to put your visions, where you're going to put your focus on getting the things done that are dream-focused, that are dream-attentive. Down here, tasks and goals. Like I said, next session we're going to talk about the nuances between the difference between a task and a goal. But you're going to write down the things that are task-based, the things that are goal-based, and write them down in no specific order, and then number them, one, two, or three, depending on its priority. Like I said, we'll talk more about some of the nuances later. And then drawing your vision, drawing your week. Write down in a chart the things that you want to focus. Have a picture in your heart. Have a picture in your mind and start drawing. It can be just pencil sketches. It can be super simple. You don't have to be an artist here. Some people think, well, I can't draw, so I don't want to do that part. You need to draw your vision. You need to write the vision in a picture form so that your heart can see the vision, your heart can see the picture, so you can start running toward that vision. So write down the vision. Like here, I have my book, my brand new book. I want to sell 10,000 copies, and I want to stand in front of 1,000 people promoting the new book. Very simple. Just draw it out every single week. You're going to find there's going to be a theme to your drawings, but we'll talk about that later when we get to the monthly. So there's your weekly practical. Hope that makes sense to you. Go ahead and be part of the community. It's really cool to be part of the beehive that we have on Facebook. But if you have any questions or if you've learned something or you just tweaked something that's really worked for you, it's going to help some other people. Draw, take your drawings, scan them in, take pictures of them, post them online. Love to see you there. If you don't already have the Dream Planner, just go to billieber.com forward slash planner and get your copy of the Dream Planner. Buy as many as you need for your kids, for your family, for your friends, for your employees. See you on the other side.